today on Fresno State Focus. Students celebrate loved ones who have passed away. Plus, find out what it's like to be an international student. Hello and welcome to Fresno State Focus. I'm Lionel Barajas. And I'm Jayla Tunstall. Attention all Bulldogs. Have you stopped and grabbed a bite to eat today? The new place on campus may have something for you to nibble on. If you're looking for a convenient place on campus to grab incidentals and something to eat, Pause and Go is the place to go. What sets Pause and Go apart is its location in the North Gym and its weekend and late night hours. Ricky Serrano, Auxiliary Services Manager, explains why Pause and Go was necessary for Fresno State's campus. It's a, it's a small convenience store that's there to help facilitate that gap between um, students needing certain items that they can't, they weren't able to locate here on campus, uh, such as laundry detergents, stuff like that. Um, we help make it a little bit easier for them to get items like that by bringing it onto campus and over there towards the North Gym. Hours of operation right now um, are 11 a.m. to uh, 11 p.m., mm -hmm. and that's Monday through Thursday, and then Friday through Sunday. We're open weekends also. Mm -hmm. We're open from, from 12 o'clock to 9 p.m. Students have definitely shown their excitement for pause and go. Every time I'm studying, you get the munchies or you get hungry. <laughs> um, you go straight down there and then come back, study, and hit the books. Yeah, because um, this campus is, is a large campus, and sometimes it's um, difficult for me to get somewhere else since I don't have a car and now that this is here I'm very I'm very happy because I don't I could just walk like and get what I what I need so one story that I have was um, I had ate something from our uh, student union and having found out that I'm allergic to it it was very easy for me to just run down the sh across the uh, campus and make a purchase of these medications. That kind of, that kind of establishment is, will really benefit the students that stay here long in the library, considering that a lot of the food on campus is uh, non-existent past a certain time. Yeah, when they come in, they're like, oh, cool, they have this, they have that. It's really nice seeing them, uh, and especially the dorm kids, they really like it because it's open late for them. It looks like Pause and Go is a hit. From the sound of drums to the sound of the costumes, Friday night was the night of celebration. Anna Vargas shows us what the sounds were all about. It's called Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. That takes place November 1st and 2nd of every year. The Fresno State Free Speech Area was covered with food, skulls, candles, and pictures. Daniel Mejia, one of the drum players for this event, says it's a celebration that's been happening for almost eight years. And every year, it gets better and better. The point of this event is to um, share our culture with uh, the Fresno State community, um, to serve as a bridge to those uh, Mexicanos, Chicanos, or other Latinos that maybe aren't connected to their traditional culture. Um, and, you know, just to celebrate the lives of our, fam our families and friends who have passed away. The purpose of Dia de los Muertos is to honor loved ones who have passed away and remember them in a positive way. A typical altar would carry pictures of a loved one, their favorite food, favorite drink, and anything else that was special of them. Several altars in the free speech area had that. Some even had candles and descriptions of who the person was. Overall, the area was covered with paper mache skulls that were done by students at Fresno State and other members of the community. The night continued with dances from the Aztec Dance Club and members of Danza Yo Satepetel. Fresno State student Samantha Fortuna is a freshman who heard the beat of the drums and decided to see what the noise was all about. But I didn't know anything about the dancing. I just knew the altars and like the concept of Day of the Dead. Hector Cerda, a Fresno State alumni who continues to help out in the Aztec Dance Club, says the dances are a way to celebrate with spirits. It's believed that this night and the following night is when our ancestor spirits come. And so the best way they're going to recognize us is uh, if we look like them, you know, when they are six feet under, you know, everybody looks the same in death. And that they did. Several of the dancers had their faces painted, their wardrobe made with metallics that made noise when they cleaned. Their headdresses contained feathers like no other. These had creativity in them and their length was sure long. The Aztec Dance Club does its best to have this event every year. Anna Vargas, Fresno State Focus. A new place is never easy, but when you have to learn a new culture, a new language, and adjust to a new way of learning, it can be intimidating. G.J. Glutz has the story. 
Dong Zhong Yang is an MCJ major from China with aspirations to be a TV hostess. She chose to go by the name Stella in the United States because she is fascinated by the stars. She says she has made friends here, but most of them are international students. I want to make some friends with the local students, I mean Americans, but it's too hard. Part of the reason she thinks it's hard is because of the language barrier. I just think the Americans always have their own group and sometimes, you know, it's hard for me to understand what they are talking about. So when I am with them, I just feel hard to get involved with them. More than 600 international students are enrolled at Fresno State this semester. They come from China, India, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Germany, and many more. Advisor Paul Yunaway says a lot of them have trouble fitting in. Research showed that international students felt lonely, that they felt uh, isolated, and they had problems making friends. Yunaway you know, urges foreign students to reach out and connect with their host culture, but he also said that it would be much easier if more American students took the time to interact with international students. I think oftentimes they're very nice, uh, will smile, say hello, but oftentimes the message that they send out to others is that they're too busy. He says many international students don't want to interrupt or bother American students. That hasn't been a problem for Hei Shi Wei or Jody, who is also from China. All my roommates, they are all American and they're very, they're very helpful. Having American roommates and being more outgoing has helped Jody make American friends more easily than others. We can communicate with the different culture. We can talk about our own food or our own people. Fresno State started a buddy program last year matching international students with American students in order to make for an easier transition. The program was designed to help students like Stella make more friends and get used to the American culture. However, the program was hit and miss and was only used for one semester. Fortunately for Stella, she has Jody to call a friend. G.J. Glutz, Fresno State Focus. From colleges and universities all over California met at St. Mary's College to learn more about graduate school. Meanwhile, the college shows us how this year's graduate forum helps students learn how they can get ahead. The 2013 Northern California Forum for Diversity in Graduate Education is meant to bring together high achieving but underrepresented college students who have the potential to enter a graduate or doctoral program but may need more information and resources. Speakers at the forum held plenty of workshops including how to prepare for the GRE, finding graduate education, how to write a winning statement of purpose, and much more. Graduate recruiters from all over the nation gathered at St. Mary's College to show students what graduate programs they offered. Recruiters from well-known schools set up information tables so students can decide what schools they were interested in. Fresno State senior Yolanda Robles feels more confident about pursuing a graduate degree after attending the graduate forum. I feel like my confidence has built up because I thought that, you know, there's probably like a bunch of schools I wouldn't be able to get into, but like now I see hope. Senior Nancy Preciado tells us how she feels after learning that there are other ways to pay for grad school. I feel more motivated now because now I feel like there's more financial help. Fresno State even had its own information table and was quite busy with many students making their way towards it. Graduate recruitment coordinator Tony Diaz explains why it's important for Fresno State students to attend this forum. They learn a lot about what it takes to get to graduate school. Uh, they learn about scholarships, about what to go into a personal statement letter, about deadlines. They find out about other schools and then also realize that we're a really good school compared to all the other ones, you know. So that's one thing. They come here and realize, like, we don't have to go far to get a good education. We have it there at Fresno State. The next graduate forum will be held at Cal Poly Pomona on April 26, 2014. This is Mimi Alcala, Fresno State Focus. With me today is Karen Jimenez, one of the students who attended last week's graduate forum. Thank you so much for joining us today, Karen. No problem. Thank you for having me. What kind of workshops did you attend while at the forum? Um, we had a lot of workshops. There was one about how to apply to graduate school, how to um, write a, a winning statement, purpose statement. There was about um, financing your education, about managing your health. And then we also talked to some of the alumni, and they kind of gave us tips on their experience while they were doing their master's and PhD. What do you want to attend graduate school? Um, I actually want to be a high school counselor, so in order to do that, I have to have my master's in counseling. And at the same time, I think um, with the way society is right now, I think it'd be better to further your education to have more options and career paths. 
What school recruiters did you talk to while at the forum? Um, I talked to a lot of CSU, CSU, Sacramento, East Bay, Chico, and I also talked to USC, Santa Barbara, and USC, Riverside. Mm. Are you more open to leaving California for grad school after you're done with school? Um, or do you I want to stay in town? Yeah, I actually want to stay in California. They actually said that it would be better to kind of go somewhere else to get a different um, feel for um, states and whatnot, but I rather stay home, <laughs> near home. <laughs> what was the most useful thing about the forum? Um, everything. I think every workshop has something essential that you can take, and then also talking to a lot of the recruiters, you get a kind of hands-on to what they're looking for. Okay. Would you recommend that other students attend this forum for next time? Oh, definitely. I think the earlier that you do it, the better, because that way you kind of are already ready, versus a senior, you're kind of like cramming things and realize, or getting a reality check, actually. Yeah, I get you. Well, we've been talking to Karen Jimenez. Thank you again so much for joining no us No problem. Today. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Own wine is very special to us here in the Central Valley. Even more special is where you may be able to purchase the wine. David Vasquez has more on the story. Yes, that's right. It's the new Bruin Gwynn Gibson Farm Market at Fresno State. With 2,500 square feet of retail floor space, you bet you can find a wine tasting room inside. It was great. We really enjoyed the experience. Enjoyed tasting the wine. The fall market recently opened its wine tasting room, offering a variety of wines to taste. It was good. It was, uh, some of them we preferred more than the other. We ended up with a red. So what are some of the Fresno State wines that you may be able to taste here at the Fresno State Farm Market? We have everything that we make from Chardonnays to Sauve Blancs, Pinot Gris to Muscat Canelli, a lot of reds, the traditional cabs, Merlots, some unique varieties like the Tariga Nacional, uh, Tempranillo, Barbera, my personal favorite, the Petite Syrah, and a few other Syrahs, such as the Savier. So whether you have a personal taste for reds or the whites, you may find your new favorite wines right here at home, made from future leaders in the wine industry. I think a lot of people don't know how much variety of wine that they have. When purchasing items at the Ruin Gwen Gibson Farm Market, you're not only buying fresh farm products and award-winning wines, but... It also supports the school. All the wine is made by students from the beginning of sorting the grapes and even people working in the vineyard, picking to crushing and fermenting and bottling and then even selling. The tasting room is open every Tuesday through Sunday. David Vasquez, Fresno State Focus. Students have a hand in more than just the wine. Market is <clears throat> a place where people around the valley go for locally grown produce. Justin Meyer has more on what the market offers. It's a store some students visit quite often, but others have yet to go. Elizabeth Allenchock loves a new farm store because of its location. The new one's really cool because I live at Palazzo, so it's right down the road. So it's closer and it's bigger so more people can come. The old farm store is located on the corner of Barstone Wellow. The new store is twice the size as the old one and comes complete with a wine tasting room, ice cream bar, and other varieties of fresh produce. Sony Tello goes for the sweet corn during the summer. Some of the reasons I really like going there is because they do offer like all organic food. And I think it really just opens the spectrum to people who might not know too much about organic foods and non-GMO foods. For students or parents looking for fresh produce, there is always something year-round. And Ariel DePinto helps run the market. The farmer's market at Fresno State is a student-run, student-produced business that we have here on campus and everything is grown by students, produced by students, or packaged by students, and then we sell it. The market is open seven days a week and is a great way to support Fresno State students. Its new location is just down the road from the old store. Justin Meyer, Fresno State Focus. Coming up next, we'll take a look, inside look at Fresno State's rugby team. Plus, we'll show you how the Fresno State men's basketball team did in their exhibition opener. Stay tuned for sports with T. Roy Roberts. Are you hooked? Ladies all over the Central Valley are hooked on Charming Charlie. Charming Charlie sells all kinds of fabulous accessories, from toe rings to sunglasses and trendy handbags to sparkling lanyards. And let's not forget about their fabulous boot line. It's the one-stop shop for all your fall favorites. Charlie's Friendly Charmers are here to assist you with all your fashion needs, so get hooked on Charming Charlie, located off Shaw at the Fashion Fair Mall.
Roberts. I'm T. Roy Roberts. Fresno State experienced a blackout at last weekend's game against University of Nevada. The football team unleashed black jerseys for the first time. Students of Fresno State are in line to get their football tickets. For the first time, the Fresno State football team will be wearing all black uniforms. The Fresno State student Jasmine Jackson shares with us the reason why she thinks the blackout game is important. Am I excited for the blackout game? Uh, yes, just because this is the first year they actually have blackout jerseys. I think it's going to be a great game since it's sold out within the first two days of the week before. That's like record breaking in my opinion. With Fresno State investing $50,000 for black football helmets, jerseys, pants, and shoes, the Fresno State community has answered the blackout call by selling out the football game. With tickets being in high demand, it was sold out earlier than expected. There were many people who wanted to go to the game, but weren't able to. Fresno State student Jasmine Hester was able to get a ticket and had this to say. I was pissed. Not only was I sick night trying to get my tickets on time, when I thought it was sold out, I was like, no way. So I'm watching from my home television while babysitting. Upset? She should be, because the Bulldog Stadium was totally blacked out. With Fresno State being ranked in the top 25, they proved they deserved it by beating the Nevada Wolfpack 41-23. to Rugby Club is currently a combined record of 5-2 this season. With a first place plaque from the Lone Beach State Tournament from this past weekend, they have seen much, much success in a short matter of time and were the bowl division champions at the Sacramento State Sevens Tournament. They have a mix of great novice and experienced players currently on their roster. They have returned two of the five all-conference players, with Antoine McNair being one of them. The Fresno State Rugby Club is making noise around the Valley. Rugby Club member and starting player Antoine McNair is with us today to tell us more about the success the club is having. Thanks for joining us today, Antoine. Thanks for having me. Can you tell us about the Rugby Club? Yeah, this is um, our fifth year as a club at Fresno State. Um, like you said, we have a great mix of new players as well as experienced players, and we're one of the fastest growing sports in the Valley right now. So can you tell us more about the success it's having in the Valley, like the impact it's having in the Valley? Yes, um, right now, currently, all the high schools in Clovis has a rugby team. Most of the teams in the Fresno Unified are starting to field a rugby team, and that's the impact that we're having on the Valley is through the youth, so that, that way when they get older, they can come to Fresno State and play. That's real nice. So why do you think you guys are having such a great season? I think it's a mix of the novice players coming in that played in high school and then already the experienced players that we have. And we also just underwent a coaching change. And I think that has a big deal to do with the success we're having. And what is your position on the team? I play fullback. So I'm like a safety on defense and on offense. I'm just the weapon, just whatever they need me to do. Okay, so if people don't know what rugby is, like, do you score points or just how does that work? Yes, we score points, but it's called a try. And actually, when you cross the try line, you have to touch the ball down, which is different from football. The ball has to touch down, otherwise you don't get credit for that point. And you can also score by kicking and you're awarded points by that as well. Okay. So why do you think the rugby club and your position as a fullback, why do you think your, uh, your position is important? Because I'm the last line of defense. If they get past me, that's a try. That's points for them. If I stop them, then, you know, we live to play another possession. So. Okay. So can you tell people, like, how can they join the rugby club? Yes, we have a um, booth in the free speech area right between the Taco Bell and the fountain. Also, we have a website, FresnoStateRugby.com. They can go there and get all the information for contact information for joining. Okay, that's, that's very nice to know. We have been talking with Antoine McNair, Fresno State rugby player. Thanks for coming in today, Antoine. Thanks for and having me. Good luck on the season. Thank you very much. Good luck to you, too. The Fresno State men's basketball team had its preseason opening last week. Marcos Espinosa has more on the story. Are you ready for some basketball? It's a party in the St. Mart Center as the Bulldogs battle the Warriors in this year's season opening exhibition game. At tip off, senior Karachi Adu smacks the ball away from the Warriors number 34, Rob Walters, and is fired up for the rest of the game. The Warriors do one mistake after another in the early going, but as the game warms up, they get right back to work, showing no mercy for the Bulldog defense. Watch how number 12, Sam Marcus, cuts right through the Bulldog defense. Knife through butter. Let's watch that again. He pulls up, aims, and hammers it down. All day with Sam Marcus. 
the Bulldogs lead 38 to 29 at halftime. In the second half, the Bulldogs start strong with play action fake and not one, not two, but three three point baskets on the Warrior defense. Check out Proud Mom's excitement. Just moments later though, watch how number one Tyler Johnson gets tight on the Warrior offense. Ow, that's gotta hurt. Johnson playing hard defense. Ouch. Falls flat on the floor and kicks in pain as the fans are left to do nothing but watch him suffer in silence. Tyler eventually gets up and exits the court. <laughs> Two minutes left in the game, the Warriors really trying to make something happen offensively, but in the end, they just can't pull off the W. The Bulldogs go home beating the Warriors 76-71, to giving Fresno State their first win at home. Marcos Espinosa, Fresno State Focus. Still to come on Fresno State Focus, find out how one math major is making history. Plus, find out some tips on how to get a holiday job. All that and more after the break. We're all used to the sounds of our cars starting. To keep that sound going time and time again, we need a battery that can perform time and time again. Optima batteries are proven to start even in the coldest of winters and the hottest of summers. Don't take a chance on your next startup. Choose Optima Batteries, the only battery proven to start time and time again. Stop by your local O'Reilly or AutoZone parts store to pick up your Optima battery. I am Fresno State and I'm going to show you why. Here's the beautiful and newly constructed Henry Madden Library, which has a massive collection. The Save Mart Center, which is our sports venue and one of the best attended in the entire country. We're absolute pioneers in the agricultural sciences, having led to the production of the first university winery and drawing in a diversity of students to achieve academic success over the past 100 years. And you know, I wish I had time to tell you about everything else, but in reality, I think you're just going to have to come see for yourself. International politics are becoming a hot issue at Fresno State, attracting speakers from all over the world. Sumaya Atiyah has more on the story. The Arab Spring that inevitably led to the Egyptian Revolution of 2011 has created an international stir. Fresno State recently hosted PhD and Egyptian activist Jihan Abu Zaid to discuss the role of women before and after the revolution. Muslim Student Association President Amani Robinson said it was refreshing to hear a speaker who was a woman talk about issues in the Middle East. A lot of students aren't really aware of different cultures and different um, traditions that are going on around the world. Many people think that Middle Eastern women, whether they're Muslim or not Muslim, that they're oppressed and that they're forced to do certain things or look certain ways. A lot of people don't understand how um, they've been advancing as far as women's rights. Some Egyptian students on campus were more critical of Abu Zaid. Nancy Muhammad said she expected a more objective point of view. Um, in terms of her opinions, uh, there are quite a few who, do, who are on her side, but in terms of her representing me, uh, not so much because I disagree with some of the statements that she has made. History and sociology major A.I. Ayesh said that this event was a great opportunity for students to become exposed to different viewpoints. I think it's a very good chance that Fresno State students and professors had the chance to hear her talk. And um, her topic is very important and we should all be aware of what's going on in the world around us. It is a very important revolution what's happening in Egypt. And Fresno State's, one of Fresno State's pillars is awareness. Jihan Abu Zaid will be touring campuses all across California later this month. So my Althea, Fresno State Focus. Math, it's a subject we're all familiar with. Whether you love it or hate it, it's a tool we use in day-to-day -day activities. Math can be a pretty difficult subject, especially if you're making history. Here with us today, we have Natasha Woodson, the only African-American female math major here at Fresno State. Thanks for joining us, Natasha. Hello, thank you. So how long have you been the only African-American female math major here? I say uh, at least about, this should be my third year as a math major. Mm. Originally, I was an engineering major, and then I switched to math. So uh, what made you want to become a math major? Well, I've always loved math. Originally, when I was deciding a major for college, I was deciding, I know I wanted ma like math and science. So I eventually started to go just towards the math side. So um, 
why so few African American women are, you know, in this major? I've always wondered that, but I'm not sure. Hmm. So, um, do you know what's needed to attract more um, African American women to the field? Um, I say more of a sense of belonging in that uh, that area would be uh, attraction, maybe. So, uh, what do you plan to do with your degree? Well, I plan to go on to get my master's in applied math, and then following that, I want to work in government agencies. Mm, so, b math being such a, you know, hyper-masculine field, <laughs> um, how do you handle the stress of being in this subject? Um, laughter, <laughs> I guess. It's hard at times, but I guess laughter and being able to dance and have, be able to relax at times. Hmm. So do you have a support system or a mentor that you can turn to, you know, whenever you need it, whenever you're feeling just completely overwhelmed? Well, um, I don't know about mentor. Well, I do want to have one on campus, Ms. Tawanda Kitchen, and I have a good friend, uh, Viola Malone, as well. Okay. We've been talking with Natasha Woodson, the only African-American female math major here at Fresno State. Thank you so much, Natasha. Thank you. It's that time again for Holiday Jobs. Brittany Bostic guides us through landing that holiday position. Fresno State look for ways to pay their bills on top of juggling a demanding schedule. Fresno State graduate student Wallace Kaipo tells us how he thinks companies should schedule students. I feel like some companies do, but I feel like more companies should because, you know, students are out here, they're trying to, they're trying to better themselves. You know, and like students also have bills and things like that to pay. So, I mean, like they should definitely try to fit around student schedules. Companies that specialize in students' health are usually found on campus in front of the USU. Vector Marketing is one company that prefers the help of students. Vector Marketing, known for their sell of Cutco knives, always uses students to promote their business. Look for them on campus in the quad or at 2497 West Shaw. Vector Marketing is not the only company known for their student help. Target, Kohl's, and Best Buy are huge retailers that can always use an extra set of hands. Rashad Reed shares his success in becoming a part-time holiday employee. The job is seasonal, but they do have the possibility if you continue, if you work, like basically if you're, if you're fitting, then you can be hired on as a, a, a part-time and eventually a full-time worker. Brittany Bostick, Fresno State Focus. You know who's hiring this time? I know Coles is hiring, and so is Target. Mm, yeah, Macy's is hiring too. I need to get my application in there. I need some extra money. I need a job. Holiday, come hire me. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas money. Next week on Fresno State Focus, find out how to protect your bike from being stolen. Plus, see how Fresno State is involved with the Nobel Peace Prize winning discovery. And also, we'll show you how the Ski and Snowboard Club is preparing for its peak season. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.